Um, so this confusion about having to be happy all the time or having to strive for happiness and positivity has really come from when we were growing up. So we've been taught by carers and parents and maybe grandparents and teachers. Lots of people in authority around us have said, cheer up, don't be angry, don't be frustrated, stop crying, smile. And so in saying that, we've been told, first of all, how you're being is not good enough. As you are right now is not good enough and not okay. And be that happy is the okay state. Happy is when you become acceptable. Happy is when you're counted as good enough. And when we're young and our food and shelter requirements are potentially dependent on this person who's telling us these things, it makes perfect sense to do more of what that person wants. Because, yeah, this body has a preference to stay alive as long as it can. So, brilliant. At that age, yeah, it makes perfect sense to, to try and please the parent or please the carer. But it's not actually true because of that, what we've just said, our, our experience in the content of life oscillates between happy and sad, between delighted and angry. And so what we've done in that experience, we've, we've adopted a rule that, that we've believed it to be true. We've believed it to be a 100% truth. And then we've tried to live by that, which has meant we've spent our whole lives being really vigilant. Oh, I should be happy. How do I get to be more happy? And oh my God, I best not be angry. How do I stop the angry? And it, it's left us in a permanent state of trying to walk this tightrope of what apparently is right and what apparently has us be good enough to be acceptable. <laughs>